So there was a Daytona Cup race last night, and I wanted to get the girls' reaction on the last lap because it was a pretty exciting run to the finish, and uh, I want to see what they have to say about it. All right, here they come down to the finish. Yeah. Isn't that crazy, girls? Did the car that won get injured? Nope. Well, whose car is that? That's some back marker, Austin Dillon. He, do, he doesn't, he's not that good. Isn't that car messed up? Does he have to go to the ER? We'll see. Who's that? Kevin Harvick. That's him right there. Yeah. Yeah. How do cars do that? You got you guys are gonna see in the replay here. Yeah, and it went to the fence. Yeah, that was the end of the race, though. Yeah, Dale Jr. won. I thought you would have gotten injured. You would think. Continue to check on all of the drivers that were involved in this incident. Let's I take another look. Up. Taylor Hart Jr. Right. crossing the start-finish line, Where winning the race, guy. but then the accident takes place <laughs> behind it. Where is the and dude? the 11 gets kind of stuck in the middle there. And gets oh my god, Rachel, she went slow on replay. As he does, he spins back in, gets the three airborne, and he just gets projected off the other cars right up into the fence. Who's number 11? Denny Hamlin. For two He's called Little Fire. Yep. That catch Here we go, you can see him on the bottom. Rex starts in front, runs in the back of the 24, gets up on the 11, now he's on top of the 50.5, and now it's just a long way run. I watch the car stop, watch the car stop. It gets on those poles, and it goes from, I don't know what, 180, 190 miles an hour, I'm just guessing. Did anybody so that was watching it get hit with any of the like car car? Car? No. That, that stock car. What would happen if that happened? You see here after he's upside down, the two is spinning. Obviously, he's already lost control. Makes more contact. That's happened before, and people have gotten hurt. Who pays for it? The track. Oh, the, the money. Yeah. There's no one in those stands. Right. Why? Well, remember, this is the track that we saw them working on. It just pushes the three oh. up into the air enough that it rolls over the top of the car. And then that momentum just continues to move him into the catch fence. That's so sad. That's crazy, huh? What do you guys think? Do you want to race cars? Nope. You don't? Right along with nope. Kevin Harvey. That doesn't look like fun? Yep. Muscle when Daddy was a dirt track racer, he didn't get it. That's right. Take another look at this real time. That just looks weird that that would happen. Yeah. How the car? I've never seen a car do this before. I I don't I don't know what happened here. This is, it, it's yeah, it's crazy. It's a crazy wreck. It's not like the ground is. And it's in the final lap. Yep. They are attending to three. I wonder if the dude driving it freaked out. Some debris did get through that fence. One of the most amazing things I've seen tonight, and we've seen a lot of incredible things. But one of the most amazing things is when that crew pulled 
Austin Dillon out of the three. And Austin Dillon is able to walk out of that accident, out of that crash, and then acknowledge the fans by waving to them. A lot of cars involved and as they have crossed the start finish line. All right, so what are your thoughts on that? Is that insane? Crazy? Dangerous? Kyle Bush is okay, Abigail. Was he in that accident? Yeah. Trying to get out there to try to Well, that side there, when those crew members put the thumbs up, they were looking around going, well, no, we're not supposed to be out here, but that looks so incredible. Are you ready for some more rye breads? Yeah, me too. Just click over here to check out our family's journey. We're a family of four here in Charlotte, North Carolina, just uh, providing some daily entertainment on YouTube. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.